It's pretty safe to say that colors play a huge role in movies. Filmmakers use colors to help telling a story. Different colors evoke a range of emotions and it gives the viewer a great experience. Colors can set the tone of the narrative and illustrate the protagonist's state of mind. In this video, I will talk about the use of colors to separate two universes. The first movie I want to talk about is Midsommar. Midsommar is a slasher film released in 2019. It follows Danny and a group of friends who travel to Sweden for a festival that occurs once every 19 years, only to find themselves in the clutches of a pagan cult. In the first act, all the scenes are pretty dark. The characters seem to be almost as a mother in these tight spaces and there's very little color or light. When they get to the village, the movie just lights up. Suddenly everything is bright and colorful, a lot like the Wizard of Oz. Ari Aster, the director, actually compared the two movies. He even admitted that Midsommar is a Wizard of Oz for perverts. But how? How can the two movies be similar if they sound like they're opposites? I have a theory. Danny's life fell apart right before the strip. Her sister killed her parents and then killed herself. Her boyfriend was problematic and unsupportive. When she got there, she was freaked out about what she saw at first. But as the movie develops, they make her feel like she's one of them. The girls share her pain, killed her useless boyfriend and his friends, or incredibly insensitive of what she was going through. At the end, they even crown her queen. She didn't have a life to come back to, so in a very twisted way, this universe is a much better option. Which takes us to the next film. Sucker Punch is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love the strong female characters the whimsical aspect of the battles and the exaggeration of it all. The movie starts with Baby Doll, who was abused by her stepfather and is being taken to a mental institution to get lobotomized. All the scenes are dark and discolored, following a very simple color palette, mostly blue to give us the idea of isolation and sadness. When her interpretation of the situation starts, we see richness in colors and light. This is a universe that she created to escape from her real one. As well as Dany from Midsommar, she doesn't have a happy ending per se, but they both manage to escape from a reality that is not worth coming back to. Much similar to this idea of which reality matters most is Corpse Bride. The plot follows Victor, a shy boy who accidentally marries a dead girl and is spirited away to the land of the dead. We go back and forth between the world of the living and the world of the dead. The world of the living, despite being the one where our protagonist comes from, is grey and dim, and the world of the dead is very vibrant and full of life, as ironic as it may seem. It shows us that the world of the living is not a very nice place. Sometimes this process of coloration is very obvious, but sometimes it's very subtle, which takes us to our final example. Charlie's Chocolate Factory is a second adaptation from a book from 1964. It is much more faithful to the book than the first adaptation, made in 1971. The storyline follows Charlie, 
a poor boy as he wins a contest along four other children and is led by Willy Wonka on a tour of his chocolate factory. All the scenes in the first act are not black and white or unsaturated, but they are monochromatic. They follow a very simple color scheme. When they get into the factory, there are colors everywhere. We feel like we are inside this place where all of our dreams can come true. Even if some of the characters face dark consequences to their recklessness, we are seeing it with Charlie's eyes. An innocent boy who never had much in his life. So he didn't take any part of this experience for granted. Also, all this built up is necessary to show how amazing the factory is. So when Willy Wonka suggests that Charlie needs to leave his family for the factory and he refuses, we see just how virtuous he really is and how he actually deserves to get the factory even more. That's it. Thank you for watching.